Hi, I'm Rochester Chamber Communications Director Dan Smith, and today was supposed to be opening day for the Rochester Red Wings Baseball Club, but the pandemic has put the brakes on that. And joining me now is Red Wings President and CEO Naomi Silver. Naomi, how are you and your family doing uh, with the uh, isolation? Hi there, Dan. Well, we have each other, at least. I have uh, two kids. Um, my son is 22, going to Fisher, and my daughter is 18, a senior um, in high school at Harley. And thank goodness we have each other <laughs> to rely on. Um, you know, it's it's been wonderful to uh, to spend extra time with the family, um, but it's just... Um, it's kind of a, a, a breathtaking time in life, so uh, no pun intended. It's, uh, it's been tough, it's been tough. Yeah, we're hearing stories all around us saying the same thing. It, it is a very unusual time in, in our nation's history. You, you sent a letter out today uh, via email to Rochester Red Wing fans. What did you tell fans? You know, I think I tried to tell fans to take care of themselves. We care about them. Our staff is important to us, and as they are in our in our in our team, we just want everybody to come out of this healthy and ready to come out to a ball game. You know, we're all in the same boat. Um, someday we'll we'll celebrate getting back together again. But for the time being, we have one job, and that is to uh, stay safe, stay home. Uh, keep the medical people um, as 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 um, as sane as they can be right now. We don't need to add to their troubles. That is for sure. They are doing a remarkable job. We're so appreciative of them, and um, we just you know it, it's a strange day for us. April 9th, You know, we had geared up and geared up, and and you know, it 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 got cut short uh, in March after a lot of the planning had been taking place for months and months. Uh, it's tough on the staff, um, but you know, we'll get through it and eventually we'll be back at the ballpark and hopefully um, stronger for it. Uh, I, I certainly cannot wait for that day. You, you mentioned your staff. The Red Wings are a, a, an important economic driver in our community, job creator. Tell us a little bit about the impact you're, you're seeing and you expect as this continues. Well, you know, typically uh, each season we'll employ several hundred people throughout the course of the season, and there is no work for them right now, uh, of course. So I think, you know, I, I thank goodness for uh, the federal government's um, economic uh, assistance for people who need um the unemployment benefits that they're getting. But you know, one of the other ways that this is affecting people who come to the ballpark, who work at the ballpark, is we do a lot of work with uh, charity organizations, uh, not-for-profits who come in and work a number of our stands uh, every day, all season long, and we pay them um, a little bit more than what they would have made if they were getting a wage. And that money goes directly to their not-for-profit that they're there to raise money for. So that is uh, that's been that's being felt by those not-for-profits. So it's it hits everyone uh, in in so many different ways. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Well, and again, we, we do want to get this season going as soon as possible when it's. Uh proper to do so as far as community health goes. What are you hearing from minor league baseball about potential contingency plans for perhaps a shortened season or, or maybe we would lose this season? You know, there hasn't been any definitive planning. Like with everyone, we're waiting to see how this all plays out. Um, you know, we've talked about the possibility of picking up the season where, uh, where we would normally be at that point in time. Um, that may work. There may be some cities that we can't go into for uh, health reasons uh, that we, you know, it might be a hot spot that we're going to have to avoid if that, uh, if, if we're, if our season is, is uh, going to happen. So there's so many different variables. You know, there are players that come from all over the country. Will they be able to? How are, have they been affected? And actually all over the world, you know, we have players from a number of countries 
Um, I, I don't know how easy it will be for them to get back into the United States uh, at that point in time. So too many things to consider to really put a plan into place. Um, we're all hopeful, we're quite sure that if the season does come back, that the players will have to start to work out together before they can play. So we'll have a week or two or so to, um, to make those plans um, in a way that, you know, makes sense for all of us. And again, today was supposed to be opening day, but your, your social media team gave us a little bit of a taste of baseball today with a video they put out of uh, some prominent community members uh, playing catch and Rochester Chamber CEO Bob Duffy was uh, had a cameo in that video. Uh, tell us about your social media team. Quite a creative bunch, and your GM, Dan Mason, is quite the talented actor for their vignettes as well. Absolutely. Uh, yes, he's he's definitely got a fallback position if things don't work out in baseball for him. Uh, our social media people are just really brilliant. I thank them. Uh, I'm thankful for them every day because, it, you know, the things that they come up with, uh, are tremendous and um, it takes uh, several different kinds of minds to to come up with some of the ideas that they have but uh, it's it's a lot of fun to watch a lot of fun both on social media on YouTube uh, catching those some of those commercials so-called commercials that they've done watching them over again it's really it's been fun well Naomi thanks for taking the time today we hope to see you at the ballpark real soon Thanks, Dan. I hope so, too.